Hey, how's it going everybody? Stephen Kirk here with you. It is the summer of sound waves. You may notice a sign behind me, the beginning of Route 66. That's right, we are in Abe Froman's hometown, the sausage king of Chicago. That's right, we are actually doing a little summertime road trip here. This is episode 166 of Sound Waves TV. This is Route 66. We're gonna be checking out the music all across the country. This is Sound Waves TV. This is Major Tom to ground control. It's time to start the show. Hey everybody, Stephen Kirk here with you. It's the summer of sound waves. We've got a big road trip going on right now. We are in Wilmington, Illinois, they tell me. This is the Gemini Giant. It's one of hopefully the first of many of muffler men that we're gonna see on the trip because we're going from state to state. We are going all the way from Illinois out to California. And the cool part about it is, it's a summer road trip. I mean, who doesn't love a summer road trip? And what do you need for a summer road trip? You need snacks. You need a place to take a leak. You need great soundtrack. You need music to listen to. So we're gonna give you a little sampling of every single state that we're gonna go through. You are gonna dig it. We're gonna start off right now. This is Anxious with Call From You on Soundwaves TV. Hey, how's it going everybody? Day two, we are now in Cuba, Missouri. And as you can see behind me here, this is the second largest rocking chair in the world. I don't know where the first one is. You look it up. I've done enough research for this trip already, but check this out. And if you look a little bit closer, you're gonna see that there's all kinds of stickers and stuff on the bottom. So I think you know where this is going. So what we're doing now, this is day two of our trip along Route 66. Check out these states we're covering, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. And it's gonna be music from each one of those states. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slide over here for a second. Take care of a little, little business here. And we've got more music, of course, because that's what we do around here. And uh, yeah, I brought a whole, <laughs> brought a whole roll with me, because you never know. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these, and I'm gonna put it right I usually try to find a Route 66 sticker to stick it next to. Fine, I ain't saying one, so I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so while I'm defacing public property, you go ahead and check this out. This is Melissa Powers with Go On Home. And she describes this at, I'm gonna put this on. She describes it as a song that is an angsty fever dream like the St. Louis summer heat. I can attest to that. Uh, it's about meeting a stranger in the proverbial woods who turns out to be something other than they appear. Hey, isn't that what Soundwaves is all about? Check this out, Melissa Powers, go on home on Soundwaves TV. Hey, how's it going everybody? Stephen Kirk here with you on Soundwaves TV. And we're gonna go back in time a little bit here. Back to episode 75, this is during COVID. And uh, I did a, a whole segment talking about Uranus. Don't believe me? Take a look. Good afternoon, class. Professor Kirk here with you, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about Uranus. Naturally, I'm referring to the seventh planet in our solar system. But I know a lot of people, you know, kind of titter and think that it's kind of a funny name. You know, I, me personally, I got over it when I was in third grade. But for, for, for the rest of you, I want you, I want to make a plea for Uranus. You see, I, did you know, for instance, that there are actually people living in Uranus? It's true. Uranus, Missouri, beautiful little small town in the middle of the country. They have a, a thriving business and general store there. It's called the Uranus Fudge Factory. I'm not kidding, take a look. Their motto is, the best fudge comes from Uranus. Now, I personally have never had fudge from Uranus, so I can't really say definitively, but I'm willing to take their, uh, their word for it. And there was, for a while, there was a, an attempt to change the enunciation of the planet's name from Uranus to Uranus. And so there's some confusion about that as well. But let's settle that once and for all. Let's go to the internet, shall we? Google has a great feature where you can type in a word 
and it will enunciate the word for you. So let's go to Google for the official enunciation of the name of the seventh planet in our solar system. Uranus. I, I'm sorry, can I get that one more time? Uranus. Okay, third time's a charm, just to lock it in. Uranus. Well, now that we've got that settled, we can get down to business. Because you may be asking yourself at this point, why are we talking about Uranus on Soundwaves TV? One of my big complaints then was that I never got a chance to actually visit Uranus. Guess where we are now, though? That's right, it's Historic Route 66, but it's also Uranus. And the other thing that I was kind of missing out on was I never had a chance to try fudge from Uranus. Well, we're going to fix that right now, too. Mm. Ooh, there's nuts in it. All right, well, here we are in Galena, Kansas, everybody. And this is day three of our Mother Road, Mother Load trip down Route 66. And you can't do Route 66 without stopping at a cool place like this. Check this out, cars on the route. These cars behind us, speaking of cars, you're gonna dig this because you know the movie cars, you know that they've got all these talking cars in there and everything. Well, when they were making that movie, when they were planning it out, they were looking for inspiration and they went down Route 66 and they took all these cool iconic things that they saw along the route. One of the things they saw was this, come take a look. Okay, so everybody knows Toe Mater from the Cars movies. See this here, this is Toe Tater. And this is actually the original vehicle that inspired the Pixar artist to create the character of Toe Mater. In fact, they even made a, uh, a replica that they've got parked over here as well that looks more like you see him in the movie. But back over here, this is the original guy right here, which is really cool. Cool Cars is what Route 66 is all about. And speaking of cool cars, this next video features a beautiful, low-slung, lung, black awesome car. The video looks like it's shot in Los Angeles, but these guys are from Kansas. This is Samantha Fish and Jesse Dayton with Death Wish Blues on Soundwaves TV. Okay, so we've been checking out a handful of muffler men all through our trip so far. We're in Tulsa, Oklahoma right now. This is the Golden Driller. This guy, as opposed to the 15 to 20 foot tall that you usually see, for muffler men. This guy is 75 feet tall. He's a big one. Uh, we've got big music coming up as well. Coming up next here on our Route 66 trip, we have got from Oklahoma, Cliff Diver with Ikea Strikes Back. Check this out. Hey, Mr. Kent. Lois, I'm gonna have to call you back. Yes, hello. Hey, look at this. It's Clark Kent, everybody. Slide on back here for a minute. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. And actually, Clark Kent, yeah, most times, but this is Steve Brandt here. Steve Brandt is an old friend of mine from way back when. We've been Superman pals probably for almost 20 years, probably, now, I would think. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And I'm delighted that you've come to visit the office of, the, of Clark Kent here at the Daily Planet. And not only is it Clark Kent's office at the Daily Planet, this is a, an amazing recreation of Clark Kent's office from the Adventures of Superman television series. Every last little detail, Steve has meticulously gone to the mat to make sure that it's absolutely right. As close as I can, this is the 1950s. Welcome back. Even the phone is the, war, is the museum's phone. So if you call what is the larger building here, the Route 66 Spirit of America Museum, it rings on Clark's desk. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, because the, the office itself, I mean, that's, that's, that's very cool. That's worth the price of admission alone. Thank you. But let's talk about the Spirit of America Museum that you've created here. What brought you to Stroud? And what, decide, what made you decide you wanted to do a museum like this? So Stroud is on Route 66, of course, and that's the mother road. And that is the first road that tied all of America together. 
And when I had the dream of building this museum, the dream was to help keep America from falling apart in difficult times. But we've had difficult times in the past, so the spirit of America has the potential to pull us together just as it has in the past. So that's what the museum celebrates, that spirit. So you've got different areas set up. Tell me briefly about the individual areas that you have here that people are going to be able to experience. Yes, I'm celebrating what we've accomplished, miracles like going to the moon when people thought it was only a fantasy not that many years before, and miracles of what we could have in the future, which is the Star Trek tribute, because someday we can get to where all of our energies are spent on exploring the universe and meeting whatever might be out there. And I also celebrate real heroes, like the people who invented the airplane and the people who invented new forms of transportation and Buckminster Fuller, who invented a whole new way of thinking about the world. This is a museum about people who think boldly and urge us to go where we've never gone before. And tell me a little bit about your Wonder Woman section, because you've got a real, uh, a real tie-in with Wonder Woman. Yes, I, I have to admit that I feel women deserve to be paid as much tribute as men. And in my case, my mother was a real Wonder Woman to me when I was 10. And the film that came out in 2017 starring Gal Gadot helped me remember how strong my mother really was in the face of some pretty difficult circumstances. So that led me to want to think about all that women do from, again, the earlier days to the current days. There was a 13-year-old girl who wanted to help stop us from going to war with Russia in 1983. And I paid tribute to her in what I call the Wonder Woman theater space. So you, you cover all decades. You cover so much, not just American history, but world history as far as uh, peace movements and how to do things together. And, you, you know, yes. like... Uh, uh, Buckmaster Fuller talked about it's the the spaceship Earth. We're all yeah, we're all in this together, we right? We are. You, he he jokingly said, "You want to be an astronaut? Guess what? You already are. We are on a giant spaceship. We are all its passengers and crew. And if we could just relate to each other that way, we'd understand that there's enough on this wonderful spaceship of ours to take care of all of our basic needs." We don't have to fight over there not being enough water. We can still argue, but we don't have to take our arguments to the point where we're killing each other. So you, this, I mean, and this is really just the Reader's Digest version of the things that, that Steve is, is more than happy to share with you. Because you really, it's not just a matter of, because a lot of times you'll go to a museum. We, we've actually, on our Route 66 trip, we've stopped at a few locations. And it's kind of like, yeah, okay, go look at the stuff. No, when you come in to Steve's museum here, he walks you through. He talks you through everything. You can learn as much as you want about these uh, really important topics. Uh, tell people where exactly where you are, sure. your address and everything, and then maybe where we can find you online. Yes, uh, Stroud, Oklahoma is halfway between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Technically, I'm at 220 West Main Street, which is Route 66 here in Stroud, next to the most popular place in town, which is the True Value Hardware Store. <laughs> and also right down the street from the Rock Cafe. And I have to acknowledge that learning that the Rock and its owner, Don Welch, helped Disney research Route 66 to make their animated movie Cars brought me here in the first place. Because she was somebody from out of town who was welcomed here with open arms. And when I arrived two years ago, I was welcomed with open arms by the people of Stroud as well. It's a wonderful town. Sounds like middle America, just the way it should be, right? Yes. It's the heartland of America for a reason. The people here have a lot of heart. Sometimes they don't agree, but even if they don't agree about things like politics, they're still friends, which I think is a wonderful lesson that we can all learn. It's, it's the world in microcosm right here in Stroud, Oklahoma, and your museum is kind of like the, the epicenter of that. Steve, yes. thank you very much. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Thanks for coming to visit. It's good seeing you again, buddy. Thank you, thank you. We'll be right back.
Okay, we are in Amarillo, Texas at the world famous Cadillac Ranch. And one of the great things about this, this, this place is living art because it's not even just a matter of, oh, I'm gonna paint this and it's gonna be here for a week or a month or a year. No, in 10 minutes, somebody's gonna come along and it's gonna change the whole thing. So it's constantly changing, it is constantly evolving, and it's constantly awesome. We are in Texas, and of course in Texas, as they say, they do everything bigger. So we're actually gonna do a double shot right now. Two taxi-themed songs. Check this out, we have got uh, Cody Jasper, we're going to be seeing him in a little bit with Tijuana Taxi, but we're going to start things off with the Taxi Girls and Sunshine on Soundwaves TV. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the sticker thing. I'm not going to do this whole big, yeah, it's kind of garish. So let's just do this. Subtle, nice, yeah. Okay, we are in Tucumcari, New Mexico, and when you're on a road trip on Route 66, you gotta have souvenirs. And I'll tell you, this is one of the coolest places that we have stopped at so far. They've got everything, everything. And I'll tell you, it's a, it's a pleasant surprise because last night when we drove into town, uh, I'll be honest with you, it was, it was like a biblical something was happening <laughs> because we had thunder and lightning. And when we got to the hotel that we were staying at, there were grasshoppers. There were beetles all over the place. There were frogs jumping around in the rain. I was honestly, I was kind of worried for my firstborn son for a little while there, if you want to get all, you know, biblical about stuff. But we wake up today, the skies are beautiful. It's not too hot yet. Although we are traveling across the Southern states during, you know, the crazy heat wave that's going on. Highest temperatures recorded ever. Will we survive? Stick around for the end of the episode. But we're gonna do some music right now. I want you to check this out because this, this sort of cleansed my palate a little bit after last night and the weather and everything. I just needed a little fun. I needed a little goofy. And this is gonna fill that prescription for me right here. This is Prism Bitch with Fear on Soundwaves TV. It's the end of another day. We are now in Grants, New Mexico. And just to give you an example of how this stuff has been going, not everything always goes to plan. As for instance, this beautiful archway here. One of the main reasons that I picked this as a uh, spot to stop and take a look at things is because it had this great neon effect going on, which isn't working tonight. Driving here today, we ran into some crazy hail. I mean, there was we had to check to make sure that windows weren't getting broken. It was ridiculous. Got a great uh, picture of a rainbow, but was it really worth going through all that hail? I don't know. There is a lot more to come though. We've still got two more states. We're heading into Arizona tomorrow. There's great music from Arizona and of course, back home to California. So stick around, we'll be back. like to be considered for airplay on either Soundwaves FM on 1077 The Bone or right here on Soundwaves TV, go to 1077thebone.com slash Soundwaves. It's kind of like back in the day, scamming your way into a radio station with your demo tape, but never actually having to leave the house. You guys are crazy, man. SoundwavesTV.com is your official home for Soundwaves merch. From coffee mugs to a variety of barware, hats, exclusive tees, and the exclusive Soundwaves commemorative challenge coin. Get all your shopping done at SoundwavesTV.com. Hey, how's it going, everybody? The summer of Soundwaves continues, and we are at a currently undisclosed location in Arizona. And it's time for the Soundwaves Mother Road Pop Quiz. Two questions. Number one, what am I doing? Number two, where am I doing it? Yep, you guessed it. We are here in Winslow, Arizona. And we, I gotta tell you, I love this. This is pure Route 66 genius marketing. You take one line from one popular song, 
and you turn it into a place that everybody's got to stop. This is, in fact, the most sound wave stop on our entire tour of Route 66. We've got some great music coming up for you. Check these guys out now. This is Sundressed with There With Me on Soundwaves TV. Hey everybody, how's it going? So here we are, our last day in Arizona. And we ended up in Kingman, Arizona at a Ramada Inn. And this isn't where we were planning on ending up. We actually, just coming out of Winslow, we got a flat tire. So we had to get uh, AAA to come out and take us to a local uh, shop where we got our tire fixed and everything. And that reminded me why I wanted to kind of go off script a little bit here for a minute. You know, we sit inside our, our little bubbles, don't we? You know, we sit behind our computers. We look at our phone. That's our world. That's our, that's our bubble. Traveling from Chicago to Kingman, Arizona so far, and then off to Los Angeles tomorrow, really reminded me that this, this is America. You know, I made it a point. Every place we stopped, every little curio shop, restaurant, museum, whatever, I made it a point to talk to local people, to kind of see what the vibe was across America, talking to my fellow Americans. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, there are certain states that we went through where I saw bumper stickers or flags hanging in the front yard, of people with a political affiliation that maybe I don't agree with. But what we see on the mainstream media from these people is the, the worst of the worst, the biggest, and on both sides. I'm not talking about right, left, whatever. I'm just talking about that's what sells soap. That's what gets people watching. That's what keeps people enraged. The people that I've met all across this country, I never asked them who they voted for in the last election. I don't care. I wanted to know how they were going to cook my steak. I wanted to know about the guy fixing my tire. And it was, it was refreshing. And it's something that I really want you guys to think about. If, if you don't travel, if you don't get out and go around, get out. Get out from behind the computer. Put your goddamn phone down for a minute and step outside and if you can, grab a friend, get in a car, and go someplace. Go meet somebody. Go to a club in a different town. You know, I've been playing music for you from all across this country. And it's rock and roll, and it's punk, and it's fun. It's not right. It's not left. It's not conservative. It's not liberal. It's rock and roll. And people are people. So do me a favor. Go out, meet people. Make friends, find out what America is all about because it's about you, it's about me, it's about everybody that I've met all across this country. Go and do. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go to California. California, here we come, heading back home. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, everybody, this is the final stretch, not just for this episode of Soundwaves TV, but also for my trip across the country. We've actually finally made it back to very, very, very hot and sunny Southern California. And standing behind me here, you may have noticed this, he's off in the distance, but that's a 22 foot tall fiberglass chicken boy. Now, back in 1962, a company started making these fiberglass statues. They were called muffler men and they were built holding their hands like this because they usually held a muffler in their hand. And then there were some variations that they made. There, were, uh, there was a Paul Bunyan version. He had a beard and a knit cap and he held an ax. You've seen guys with, with hot dogs and bags of groceries. This one's probably the most unique one <laughs> that I've seen on the trip. This guy here is Chicken Boy. He was built back in the late 60s for the Chicken Boy restaurant that was down on Broadway in Los Angeles. Still on Route 66, by the way. But in the early 1980s, artist Amy Anoya was driving down Broadway, noticed that the Chicken Boy restaurant was closed, but Chicken Boy himself was still standing up on the roof. So she got a hold of the people that owned the building and said, hey, what's the deal with the statue? And they said, well, we don't want it. If you want it, come and get it. And she did. She kept it in storage for over 20 years until she got it restored and put up on the roof of her artist studio here in Highland Park. How cool is that? I gotta, I gotta get me one of these. Maybe a Steve Kirk statue with a beer in one hand and a stack of records in the other. <laughs> Not bad. This is even a cultural landmark signed off on by uh, Governor Schwarzenegger back in uh, 2010. Very cool indeed. Uh, speaking of very cool, we have got the latest from Tamar Burke. Check this out on Soundwaves TV. 
All right, everybody, that wraps up this summertime road trip edition of Soundwaves TV. We started off in Wisconsin, went down to Chicago, and then traveled all across Route 66 to get us here, Santa Monica Pier. This is the end of the line. You can see it says uh, end of the trail. This sign, by the way, it's, uh, it's something that's put in place for the tourists, a little photo walk. One of the actual road signs is on this gift shop that's about 100 yards from here. Oh, and a little uh, little factoid you may not know. When they say Route 66, 66 is actually the number of pounds that you'll put on if you start eating in Chicago and eat your way across the country to Santa Monica. Oof. But I'll tell you what, we have had some great food. We've had some lousy food. Uh, we've met a lot of interesting people. Uh, we ran into some old friends, and uh, we've seen some pretty weird stuff along the way. But all in all, it's been a great trip. Oh, by the way, we've got to thank DJ Bear because he's the guy that put together this great playlist that we've been listening to all the way across the country, going to each individual state and finding great music to listen to. So thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. So for me, I'm going home. I'm going to grab a shower. I'm going to do some laundry. I'm going to sleep in my own bed. We will see you next time on an all-new edition of Soundwaves TV. From where? I have no idea. You'll find out when I find out. Oh, and uh, by the way, thanks, Al. Cheers. Tonight